This video is part of the Lay the Draw video study, a statistical analysis of over 100 football matches to find out if the Lay the Draw strategy actually works, and if so, what betting conditions need to be present to guarantee a profit. The results of this study can be found exclusively at www.mikesandbettingtips.com. two games we're looking at again in this video today. Uh, these are both games uh, which are in uh, the AFC, A -A AFF Suzuki Cup. I uh, don't know where that is, but obviously it's a cup tie. Uh, same with this one here. So it's Philippines against Myanmar and Thailand against Vietnam. Uh, the match is due to start in about 10 minutes time, so I'm just doing a little bit of a pre-match recording. Um, just to have a look at things. Um, so first of all, Philippines against Myanmar. The draw is at about 3.45. Um, the favourites for Philippines are about 2.04, 2.06. And Myanmar are at 4.6. So again, we're going to make notes of these. And we're going to put a £10 stake again, always in practice mode as always, because this is uh, a big study. Um, so we're going to put a £10 stake uh, at uh, 345 uh, I noticed the price so far, just for our, again, just for note, noting down really, the price so far has started at 365 um, So just, just for our own notes later in case there is a goal. Um, so that's the uh, situation there. Uh, so there's about another 10 minutes to go yet. So let's have a look at the correct score market uh, for this game. Uh, for nil nil is the one we're interested in, and the um, price is about nine point two, which is a little bit low probably. This this again, we're looking at this uh, factor just in case uh, we wanted to take out uh, some form of insurance against the nil nil draw, whether that would be viable or not. Um, ideally, I'd like this to be about fourteen fifteen or so at least, or at least thirteen fourteen. Um, but uh, so this is quite low, so this might not be an option, um, which basically means that there's not enough uh, profit here uh, to cover any losses if the um, nil nil draw did happen. Um, so that's the Philippines Myanmar game. Uh, let's go to the other game we're looking at, which is Thailand Vietnam. Uh, match odds. I've uh, got favourites of Thailand, they're down at 1.95, uh, Vietnam at 4.7. Um, and the draw is at 3.65, so again we're going to go in at uh, 10 here. Uh, laying the draw, following this lay the draw strategy. Um, and we can see here the price, so before this, the price went up to about 4.1 just about. So again we want to bear that in mind as well, um, just for our own information. Uh, let's have a look at the um, correct score market. And here again is about 10, so it's a little bit low, kind of borderline. We'd like this to be up here somewhere at least. Um, so just taking that into consideration. Um, okay, that's uh, all I'm going to record for now. I'm going to come back uh, about 10 minutes into the game or when something has happened. Both these games, I think, are kicking off actually at the same time. Okay, just um, we're coming about 15 minutes in, first 15 minutes, 16 minutes in the Thailand game here, just to see what's happened with the odds. Um, you can see we're in the Thailand Vietnam here, uh, starting at 365, 3.65. Uh, in the first 15 minutes with no goals, we've come down to 3.2 then um, on that one. And let's just flip to uh, the uh, Philippines. Uh, Philippines match odds. Uh, this one uh, hasn't come down quite so much from 3.45 down to about 3.1 um, 3 ish. Um, again, just making these notes for our own records, really. So we'll come back in about another 10 15 minutes. Okay, we've just had a goal in the Thailand game. So Thailand have gone 1 0 up after 22 minutes. Um, we can see the draw had gone down to about 3.05 um, so let's see what it goes up to we're back in play now uh, it's gone back up to uh, let's just give it a, a while to settle down to 
to about five ish between five and six and it's going to hopefully it will come to some better price so we are five and a half five point four uh, so that's how much it's come up to uh, because Thailand scored. Now Thailand, if I remember rightly, were the favourites. I have to check that. My memory is not as good as it used to be. Um, but I think they were the favourites there. Which is probably why the price has gone up, uh, relatively speaking, quite a bit. Um, you know, we started at uh, 3.65. So... Um, so one more look. So we're down to three. Okay. So just for our notes, and we come back when something else happens. Uh, that goal, but by the way, was after twenty, about twenty-two minutes. That goal. Uh, just checking the odds. Thirty minutes in, or thirty-one minutes in. Uh, but the Philippine games here is still nil-nil. Um, so on this one, we're going at three forty-five. That's come down to about two seventy-eight, two point seven eight. Uh, that's after half an hour then. So just doing a price check. The other game, uh, the Thailand Vietnam game, which had the goal, uh, you can see the draw is still up about 5.1 now. Um, so it seems to kind of stabilised around there. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll come back uh, hopefully just before half time. Uh, okay, we're more or less half time now, 45 minutes plus. Sorry, plus. Um, just have a look. Uh, the Philippines game, which is still the nil-nil, um, the odds have come down to 2.3. Um, and the uh, Thailand game, uh, where the favourite scored first, the the draw is still hanging around about the 5 mark, 4.9. Um, so the results, the, the scores are still the same. Um, so we come back uh, probably about 10 minutes into the second half um, to see, uh, or as soon as there's a goal, to see uh, see what's happened. Uh, just starting the second half, and they've just suspended, oh, we're back in play now, for some reason they suspended the Philippines my my game. This does happen quite often. Uh, they seem to be suspended for no reason. Um, all the cash seems to disappear from the queues here. Um, but it's come back, there's no goal, so a bit of a false alarm. No, wasn't a false alarm. Uh, so Philippines did score a goal, uh, and that's it was a bit late coming through on the live scores. Um, so that's basically what happens. Let's have a look and see what's happened. As you can see, the price uh, had gone down just before the half time, or a few minutes after half time, to about 2.14. Um, so let's just see where the price is now. And the price has gone up to about five, it looks like. So this is with the Philippines score. Now, if you remember, Philippines were the slight favourites, uh, I think, if I remember rightly, uh, to start with. Um, so the price now has gone up to around about 4.7-ish, 5.2, somewhere between here. Let's just give it a while to settle down. Uh, just give it like a minute to settle. It looks like it's it's um, around 4.8 or so. Um, we started. What did we start at? We started at like 3:45, didn't we? Um, okay, so uh, nothing else in the other game. That's still one 0 to Thailand. Uh, so we come back uh, again when something happens. Just doing a price check. We're now 60 minutes into the games. Uh, 58.60 and on the Philippine game. Um, the draw is uh, looking around here, 5.4, 5.8, and the uh, Thailand game uh, about 5.2. Uh, quite interesting. They're both around about the same kind of same kind of price. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the score both goals, both games are yes, still. Uh, so again, really, we've uh, laid the draw strategy. We've, um, you know, we've got the information we need. Um, the reason I keep uh, keep recording in this case is just out of curiosity to see what happens when the next goal goes in for each of these games, uh, as to what happens if it, if it goes back to a draw, as to what happens to the odds, and if one of these teams goes two 0 ahead, 
uh, again what happens to these odds so that's really what I'm looking for although it's nothing really to do with the lay the draw strategy it's just for our own my own information uh, which I can note down later I uh, just had a second go in the Thailand game uh, up to 65 minutes um, let's just go back to that this will I just had a look at this just before I started recording it was trading about five points something uh, five points around here somewhere um, if I remember rightly um, it's about 5.3, 5.4 I think uh, it's come back into play now so I'd say the score is 2-0 um, to Thailand um, uh, Thailand started about 1.75 so they were, if, I'm, if I've got that correct to so say my, my uh, to check this on the recording because it was about, about an hour ago that I looked at it uh, but on this chart um, it looks like 175 to 2 so they were the favourites but uh, anyway um, they've now taken a 2-0 lead as you can see there um, and the price has gone up it's gone out to uh, well it's gone way out hasn't it to like 30 or so um, So that's um, that's something we just wanted to see and we'll make a note of, and we're going to look out for anything else happening in the Philippines uh, match now. Uh, the one thing I am noticing, um, certainly when it's uh, two new up, um, is the the liquidity in the market goes down in the draw. Um, it's not as liquid as uh, certainly. Look at the Thailand. The money's going on Thailand down here. Um, so. Um, I'm going to be taking that into consideration a bit more in my future videos as well uh, in terms of how liquid the market is um, once a goal goes in I think I've, I've kept a slight eye on it um, so far in this in the first few videos I've done and um, the, 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 it certainly is there there is uh, it certainly is uh, there is certainly some liquidity there but it does seem to be going it does, does seem to go down in relation to how many goals are scored uh, this is the tight end game we can see we've got 75 and 20 switch to uh, the Philippine game which is uh, one nil still now you see there is there's definitely more here isn't there 167 and 60 um, which I'm getting those those figures wrong aren't, they, aren't I I'm assuming that that is the, is the total amount um, in, in, in this column but it, that's the total amount showing Actually, I don't even know what this is to be honest. Um, but it does seem to change. 50 is certainly not the sum of all this, lot, is it? Um, so uh, certainly visually, we can see um, you know, how liquid the market is there. Uh, it looks like we just had a goal in the um, uh, Thailand game. Vietnam have got a goal back. So let's just um, check see what's happened with that uh, so because they've got a goal back so the difference now again is one goal between them uh, the the odds on the draw have looks like they've come back down what they're going to settle on it's difficult following two matches at once because I I forget what the odds were beforehand um, but it looks like it's come back down to about four point yeah between five and four five and four uh, give it a little while to settle uh, yeah we're going to say about 5.1 5.2 um, interestingly something which I missed which is worth making a note of as well is just before that um, that goal here went in the Vietnam game went in uh, and Thailand were, were two new up you can see they've actually got a red card as well so they're down to ten men uh, which is you know, worth considering but before that their price had dropped to about 1.04 um, 1.03 so it was you know with only 20 minutes to go they were 2 new up their price is at 104 uh, it might have been worth putting a lay bit on um, down here for very little risk um, uh, and then you know if if Thailand has subsequently got another goal obviously you know you, you'd risk that two or three ticks there but if Vietnam, if the, the as as they did, if Vietnam got a goal, the prices, you know, gone back up to um, let's have a look. 
uh, 1.33. Uh, with Vietnam getting that gold back, so just something to make make a note of. Um, that it, it might be worth um, you know following that strategy as well. But that's a side issue again from um, what we're doing on this video. I just had another goal uh, in the Thailand game, uh, so the market's just come back into place now. Three one to Thailand. Um, so let's just see what happens to the odds there. Uh, again, the odds have come right back down. So you've got 82 minutes gone, and the odds have come right back down to 1.03 for Thailand. Um, uh, but we're more interested in what's happening to the draw, really. And that's gone right out. Where are we? Yeah, that's gone. You know, that's that's way up here. Uh, and obviously, that's because you know we've only got eight minutes to go, and Vietnam are two 0 down. Um, we're going to keep recording, going to come back in a few minutes just to see what happens with the uh, Philippine game. Let's have a quick look at it. Uh, so Philippines are 1-0 up. Um, the, the, the draw here is going around between you know, 9 and 10, around here somewhere. Uh, that's gone up markedly in the last you know, 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, it's interesting really that the uh, you know, that is when um, uh, there's there's more of a price change in the last 10-15 minutes of a game. That's when there's more volatility. That's the kind of general opinion I'm getting so far. Uh, but we come back in five minutes to see what happens at the end. That's just going to finish off the recording here. Uh, it certainly looks like uh, these are going to be the end results. Then Philippines uh, uh, one nil and Thailand three one. And uh, I'll make a note of the results as well. Uh, because that's another factor I want to look at is uh, how many times the match ends in a zero zero, and how many many times, um, or just you know really I don't know yet. But so this is this is the whole part of the study. Um, but I want to look at generally what happens to the results as well, um, you know, right to the end of the game. Um, and if the if the uh, match if the results do change in the next ten seconds or so, um, I'll, I'll add a bit more to this recording just to show. You. Um, but um, Otherwise, that's the end of this recording.